And since you haven't done linear system since before the uh, break, I thought I'd do a quick review here. So this is, will be a quick review. I'll do a graphing. I'll do each of the other methods as well. So we'll start off with the graphing here. So here, uh, graph the following below and find the point of intersection. So you've got one and y equals mx plus b form and the other isn't. So we'll start off the one with the y, which is in the y equals mx plus b form. So right here, I'm going to just show you what the slope is. So m is 2. So it's the number in the front of the x. So it's like 2 over 1 as a fraction. And the b is negative 5. So what we do here, and I'll use a different color. We go to negative 5 on the graph. So you, you follow the graph here. And you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you put a dot at the negative 5. And then you use the slope. So you use this slope or the number in front of the x, 2 over 1. And you go up by 2 to the right by 1. So you're going in the positive direction both times because they're both positive. So you go up. This is the positive side and that's the positive. So you go up by 2 over 1, up by 2 over 1, up by 2, 1, 2 over 1. Now you can also go down by 2 over 1 and down by 2 over 1. Why do you keep going up by 2 over 1, up by 2 over 1? Next, you draw your line. So you, let's try to see if I can find a nice line. Well, there's a red one there, but it'll be really thick. Let's, uh, I want one with double arrows. This doesn't give me that option. What does in these ones? I wonder if I can just pick a red one with the double arrows. And I'll draw my line from here. Oh, there, okay. Unfortunately, it's, it's very dark, So, but I can put it on here. I'll draw it here. You can use a ruler here and make sure you got arrows on both ends. thought I picked one of the double arrows, but I guess those are just squares. Maybe that's the double arrow one. Let's take a look. That's the double arrow. It just has dashed lines. Uh, make sure yours is solid. It doesn't have to be dashed. So I'll delete that. I'll just draw one more using the one I have here. So we'll go here. And there, and we'll make sure it's red. And we'll start here. We'll start again here. And we'll make our straight line go through all these. And it should be a solid line. Maybe I could have just used the line command. It would have been nicer instead of this dashed one. Okay, next one here. So we're going to rearrange this one. So we've got to go and rearrange it into y equals mx plus b form. Let's delete these two items. So you have to put it to the other form. So you go minus 2. Maybe I'll use a different color so it's clear. I'll use blue. Minus 2y equals. So you put the x on the other side. Minus x minus 2. So when, when this one crosses the equal sign, it becomes negative, And the 2 becomes negative. I can divide everything by negative 2. And it has to be negative 2. So you get just positive y. So here you're left with y equals, well, there's nothing here on the top with the x. It's just a negative x. So that's like negative 1. It's like negative 1 over negative 2x. Okay, and then you go plus 1 here. So two negatives make a positive. So again, we're going to have a positive slope. If it was a negative slope, it would go the other way. But in both cases, we have a positive slope. Okay, my, my m here is 1 over 2. Okay, and my b is 1. So we're going to go over here, we'll pick the blue color here, and we'll start at 1. So here, and you go up 1, over 2. Up 1, over 2. Oh, there's the point of intersection there. You can go up 1, over 2. In both cases, the lines are positive. If you have a negative line, it'll go the other way, and you'd have to go down. You can always go this way and over here. And we'll just draw a line here. So we'll pick the line command. And I'm just going to draw a blue line and add arrows. So we'll go through all these. And at the end, we'll just switch over to the thing. And we'll add some arrows on the end here. Okay, I'm going to label these two lines. So the blue one here, I'm going to label the blue one here as x minus 2y plus 2 equals 0. And then the, the red one I'll label as y equals 2x minus 5. And just remember, positive slopes go this way, and negative slopes will go that way. So 
So if you have a negative slope, it'll go downward. So my point of intersection, or POI, is right here. So it's this point right here. It's 1, 4, 1, 2, 3. 4, 3. 4, 3. So my POI here, my point of intersection, POI is 4, 3. On the next video, I will go over substitution.